Hey guys, uh, recently LinkedIn added a new feature open to work on their images so people can see that you're looking for work and they can help you out and stuff like that. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, um, how to set it up, what it really is, why you should use it if you're in that situation. And also we're going to talk a little bit about layoffs and furloughing, or being furloughed rather, and how to sort of get out of it and you know be successful with your next job or your next job hunt be successful with the next job hunt. Uh, that's what I meant to say. Let's go ahead and get into it. I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've had the pleasure of visiting some of their campuses back when uh, in Provo, and it was a beautiful campus. I, I think they've moved to Lehigh in recent times. But if you're interested in a bootcamp that also provides housing so you can get up and go in web development, QA, iOS development, UI, UX, they got it all. Check them out at devmountain.com. So for a while now, LinkedIn has had this um, section on your profile page. You can see we're on my profile page here. And you can go and edit and you can say, hey, I'm you know, casually browsing whatnot or you know, what, what you're open to. Are you open to work, right? Um, in my case, I just put share with recruiters only that I'm flexible, casually browsing. And that if you can go here and go say, hey, add the hashtag open to work photo frame now this is also going to share it with your entire entire um you know anyone can see this so you really probably don't want to do it if you're looking to jump jobs your your boss may be a little look at you a little side-eyed you want to keep on the recruiters only but something to consider it looks like this basically kind of hard to see in there um, but essentially your image is there this shows up on there and it allows people to see much easier that hey you know dylan is in need of a job or dylan is looking and it's very visible from your profile picture right and that way when you're commenting on blogs or posts or you know recruiters are looking for you you're gonna stand out and that's what it's really all about so you know i i want to do this video because with with um the state of the world and whatnot even as unemployment goes down it's still at 11 percent uh a little above 11 percent in the u.s and some people aren't working the jobs that they want to work that was kind of the same same deal beforehand. A lot of people are doing the gig economy and probably even more so now with people getting food delivered left and right as people try and get back into their career and industry of choice. Now, uh, one thing I would say to people who have been laid off or furloughed is that, um, you know, sometimes people like to take a breather. Um, and it's understandable, right, when this stuff happens. Uh, it's sometimes you need a moment to recharge but sometimes that recharge period goes on for too long like one day is would be my recommendation take one day to sort of go through the emotions of maybe feeling sorry for yourself and woe is me and and you know just sort of go through those cycles i say this to somebody who has been laid off in the past and understand what that feels like um so you kind of need that one day top. So the problem is a lot of times people do that for weeks, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. And it, it's hard getting a job, right? It's not an easy process, even with experience. And to get it, it's even harder to get a good job. So the next thing you want to do, what, and this is for furloughed or being laid off, is that um, if you've been furloughed, in theory, you're going to get your job back. In theory. Um, not guaranteed, but in theory, that's the goal, right? Business may go out may go out of business um if they had to furlough people it's it's completely possible so what i would say for those who have furloughed is probably go and try find find something better i mean that's the honest god truth is you're in a position where you might have a job later on but now you have the time energy and hope maybe not the time because we still have to get paid but maybe you can get unemployment maybe you you know have money saved now you have the hopefully you'll have the time to go and look for a better opportunity you'll go and see what's out there and it's gonna be hard right um anytime unemployment's high the um the you know supply and demand is fluctuating in the direction it's not good for the employee right so you want to you want to go and take advantage of that if you can and and guarantee yourself a job at the end of the day and you know you can do all that sort of stuff 
where all the requ basic required stuff, updating your LinkedIn, getting a good cover letter together, a good resume, um, you know, getting your GitHub together, your personal website, portfolio, whatever it is. But your job when you're laid off or furloughed is to get a new job. That's that simple. Hopefully a better one, right? Um, each and every time I've been laid off, which is once, I guess. So <laughs> not each and every, um, I did have a, when I was a staff writer, at a data center called Quadranet. I got, I was a consultant or a contractor and they, they laid me off, but um, it doesn't really count as getting laid off because you're a contractor. Um, but I, the one time I did get laid off, I did find a better job and um, luckily so. But that's not always going to be the case. Sometimes you just have to, to get a job that pays the bills to get by. And if you do that, that's fine. My suggestion to you is to continue looking for a better job sometimes you have to take pay cuts to get to where you want to go to pay the bills and do all that sort of stuff um and it's not ideal but sometimes you have to is that if you fall into that position where you're taking something that you know isn't going to be long term treat it as such so often people go and the same thing with like relationships you go and you um maybe you're casually dating or something like that and you try and convert this casual situation in a very serious situation that the other party just isn't going to be compatible for you in that circumstance. And like, same thing is with your job. You might go and take a temporary job that you know you won't be happy with long term, but you try to make it yourself happy with it, and it doesn't work out a lot of times. Um, but sometimes you got to do that to pay the bills, right? So as you're being furloughed and, and laid off, like these are the things that I would suggest you do. You can all, there's obviously um, reaching out to people. I, I could tell you that the best way to get a job, hands down, statistically speaking, is networking, like reaching out to people you know that you've worked with. It's a little harder when you're just starting out, right? Like if you've never had a developer job before and you don't have those connections, who do you have to reach out to? Nobody, right? And so that's a different situation. But if you do have, um, you know, if you have some experience and you just happen to be laid off, reach out to those people, shoot them a message. First thing I, I do whenever I've had anybody who's reached out directly to me that I know say, Hey, you know, I'd let my team member go Dylan. Um, fantastic guy, just company struggling. Um, I couldn't recommend him more. Uh, can I give you his resume? Absolutely. I take a look at it and I send it. Finding good talent and finding good people is hard to do. And so when you're able to get a recommendation that skips through the stacks of 100 interviews and it goes from dev to HR or hiring manager, you're at the top of the list. And making those, those, um, those, um, those acquaintances, those friends, those colleagues – and having the opportunity to reach out to them, it may not work out, but you will have more opportunities faster and quicker than just going and applying. And it's it's going to be one of those items that, yeah, you're going to have to have some experience. Yeah, you're going to have to be in the field. But if you're, if you're in that situation, that's your way out. That's your way of putting your feet down and like getting out of the hole that is, you know, uh, unemployment at, at the end of the day. So, um, hope you guys uh, take a look at the LinkedIn feature. I hope most of you are not in this situation. I've, ha I've heard some horror stories from people where they've been laid off, um, or they've accepted a job offer and then had it rescinded because of everything going on, which is just a, a dagger in the heart, a absolute dagger and not something that I think any of us really want uh, or can deal with like it's a that's an emotional thing where you feel like oh i just landed my junior level role and it gets taken away from me and i feel for you guys but keep that in mind those are things that you can do on linkedin and um you know reach out to your network and see what's out there if you don't have one um you know work on building one by going to meetups and you know getting those internships and you know reaching out to friends and colleagues in other industries that maybe they can help you out so um, it's not ever going to be easy. Nothing in life worth doing is easy, but it is possible to go and come out the other side and, and be successful with that. I wish you all the best of luck.
As always, if you're interested in my courses, there are links in the description below. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Trying to get that hashtag road to 100,000. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.